Hello everyone, welcome to Data Discovery. At this video, we are going to see the concept related to histogram. So what is this histogram? Why this histogram comes into the picture? And in the data science, the data analysis stream, why this histogram that we are learning it of? And then the most important, how to code with the histogram. So let's get started. So, but in the data analysis, the data visualization, okay, that is lots and lots of plot, like line plot, pie chart, histogram, many, many plot, n number of plots is there. So each and every plot gives the analysis in different, different manner. It gives the story manner. In the, in the format of story, it used to describe the data. So one of the plot that we are going to see in this video, it's histogram. So histogram is a graph used to represent a frequency distribution of a few data points of one variable. In the line plot, we used to represent one x-axis and one y-axis, right? So here, here will be my x-axis, here will be my y-axis. If my x differentiate is 1, if my x value is 1, so what will be my y value? Okay, based on if my x value is 2, what will be my y value? So if x is increasing, even my y is increasing or not. If my x is decreasing, even my y decreasing or not. So, so based on the line plot, you will be ge getting the describe of the data based on the x and y, the correlation between x and y. But in this histogram, it used to represent in only one feature. For only one features, we can see the description of the data. So I, I'll just take one small example. Okay. Uh, based on that, we will be seeing, we will be clearing our concept. Okay. So from my society, I took one age sample in which all the ages that I mentioned as to 4, 15, etc. thing. Uh, the uh, max to max, uh, the age is 60 and minimum is 2. Okay, so based on that, I'll create one bin. I'll create bin, bin size and the interval is nothing but same. And based on that, I will be calculating a frequency. So I'll take this is as X and this is as Y. Okay, so from 0 to 10, there are two uh, people whose value is lie between 0 to 10. Okay, 10 to 20, the value is 4. So this all are my frequency. Frequency is nothing but appearance of, of the particular age on the, the sample that I have collected. Okay, so based on that, let's plot it. So in, while plotting it, I took the interval. So I took it in the continuous form. So 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. Okay, so if I will be plotting it from 0 to 10, the frequency is 2. So based on that, I have plotted it. So from the picture, you will be getting an idea that the age between 20 to 30, the people is more comparative to other ages, right? Because 20 to 30, the people is around 5. But uh, other than that, like 10 to 20, 0 to 10, 30 to 40, it's comparatively less. So based on that, you will be getting a pictorial representation of the data. Even you can form one normal distribution. Normal distribution based on the data. It's called the bell curve is formed. So if the bell curve is formed, then we used to identify whether it's following the normal distribution or not. Okay, for uh, normal distribution, that is the several properties that we need to follow, that whether it's following a 68, 95, 99.5 rule or not. Okay, we will be coming across it, uh, the standard normal distribution, etc. What is this PDF, the probability distribution function says? So, it says that the percentage of the population lies between each and every point. Like, for example, now, uh, th this will be my probability distribution curve, this is my... my bell curve right so i have represented over here okay. in which this value is lies around i can say around 0.2 okay it might be around 15 i'll say so it says that around 20 percentage of the complete distribution lies between range 0 to 15 right I'll repeat once again, the age between 0 to 15 lies in, in the 20 percentage of the complete distribution. So the point to how the representation of the point to point one, okay, it says that 10 percentage of the distribution, 20 percentage, it's everything comes under the PDF. 
anyways as i have said i'll make a separate video i'll make a deep video so this all are the description this all are the uh, describe of the data uh, it comes from the histogram so uh, we can build a story based on the data by each and every plot so one plot is majorly used is called as a histogram now as i have said this bins and interval so how they calculate this bins and interval how we need to calculate like over here i have given the example like from 0 to 10 the interval the frequency is 2 so how actually it's calculated not directly we can able to uh, take the bins right so how we need to calculate it and then coding that we will be doing at this video itself so what is this bins okay and interval so it's nothing but we couldn't able to represent in a particular number okay here we are represent in the format of range from 0 to 10 10 to 20 how to calculate this bins so there is the difference between the bins and bin size so what is this difference okay that we will be seeing over here so uh, it's nothing but i'm grouping the data into bins Okay, so first, the rule to calculate the bins at bin size, there is a certain rule that we need to follow. So, bins should be of same size as we have seen it over here, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. Here, the size is same. Here, the n value, it difference, 0 to 10, n is equal to 10. Here, I have calculated the bin size as 10. Okay, so the bin size that whatever we are mentioning over here, it should be of same size. If it's not, then you couldn't able to build the histogram properly okay it should not include all it should include all the data like over here i have represented the age right so whatever the age is represent i have calculated the maximum value and minimum value so based on that i have included each and every age i haven't excluded one of the age also so whenever you're doing a histogram when you're plotting the histogram you need to include each and every values from the data so you should not miss any of the data and third rule whole number or logical division is included like uh, i'll just give one example so whatever the bin size that uh, the free bin size that i have represented over here 0 to 10 10 to 20 here you should not include some of the fractional values like 2.3 or 4.3 something like or 0 0.25 you should not include it it uh, very hard to calculate and then uh, you couldn't able to get the pro proper representation of the data so it, this this are the certain rule if you will avoid it then uh, the problem will be solved okay now how to calculate this bin size will come to me okay first we need to find the maximum and minimum value of the particular data like over here as i have said the max value the max value is equal to 60 and min value is equal to 2 and then the this all are the input values right and then one more input value that you need to find it's called bins like how many groups that you need like over here how many groups i had one two three four five six here the six groups that i have mentioned so bins how many bins that you need okay that we need to uh, identify so as i said that i need around six bins and next and next the rule comes like if the value that you're starting over here if you're starting from zero okay if you're starting from zero then your formula will be max by bins your formula will be max by bins it's nothing but 60 divided by 6 so what will be my 60 divided by 6 it will be 10 so as you got around 10 right so if you are not starting from 0. You are starting from some other value. Like you can take it as from 10. So at that moment, your bin size will be max minus min. That is minimum value divided by bins. Okay. To calculate this bin size, we use this formula. It's nothing but max minus bin, minimum by bins. So max is nothing but the maximum value that you have in the data minimum values have that value in the data and the bins how many groups that you need so based on that you can calculate your bins bin uh, the bin size right so this is how we are finding the uh, bins and bin size so bins is nothing but uh, so the difference between the bins and bin size i hope you got it bins is nothing but how many groups you want okay how many intervals you want and 
uh, bin size is nothing but what will be their interval size. So 0 to 10, 10 to 20, what will be your interval size that it will decide. So this is the difference between the bins and bin size. So let's move to the coding part. Here we go. Uh, okay. So here the histogram, it's a graphical representation of a data appearance is similar to a bar graph, but it is continuous. So this is the difference between the bar graph and the histogram. The towers or bars of a histogram are called bins. The height of each bin show how many values from the data fall into that range. Yes, as we have learned in the theory part and the bin width, that is nothing but bin size. It's nothing but maximum value, minimum values by bin size. Okay, it's nothing but uh, I can represent over here as bin. And over here, it's size. As we have uh, read it in the theory part. Maximum value from the data and minimum value from the data and how many bins you want. So based on that, you will be getting a plot. So we here have given one description. It's nothing but by default uh, number of bins in histogram will be 10. So what is this? So whenever uh, you will be plotting it, the histogram. So by using a matplotlib, you can plot your histogram. So uh, by default, it stored the bins as 10. So if you want to change it, like over here, I have changed it as my bin is equal to 5 okay so bins uh, by default it will be taking as 10 so if you want to change it then uh, we can change it okay so over here it's 5 so I'll just give the uh, description of the particular height that I am having so here we will just calculate the minimum value minimum value so let's let's like uh, write it over here so here is my height right so here, here will be my height and then uh, let's calculate the minimum and maximum of height. Minimum and max of height. So once we have calculated it, we need to um, subtract it we need to subtract it and then whatever the values that you are getting okay I got it as 55 so 55 divided by uh, 5 Right, 55 divided by 5 because I have uh, bins is equal to 5. So by default, it's taking as 10, but I have changed it to 5. So my bin size is 11. So it's nothing but from uh, the minimum value that whatever that I am having, 140, right? So from 140 to uh, at 11 points. So 140 to 151. So 140 to 151. So 151 to 162. So it's calculating the 11 size, uh, 11 values. So if you will calculate this difference between from first red line to second red line, the value will be 11. The difference will be 11. Over here also 11. So this is how we are calculating the bin size. So here is the plot. Okay, you just, this is one of the description of the data. I will be sharing my notebook in a description box. You will be getting my GitHub link. Okay, do like, share and subscribe to the data discovery. Like this type of the video you will be getting in this my channel.